coming up on the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Podcast. Joey and Holly will talk about how to make your residence more of a homestead, our garden tip of the week, our vegetable of the week. We're always prepping for unknown events and reusing and repurposing everyday items. Our guest this week, she is the host of HowToGardenVideos.com, Yolanda Van Veen. The link will be live in the show notes September 5th, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time on BePreparedRadio.com and downloadable from iTunes. Sponsored in part by DollarSeed.com for your flowers, vegetables, and herbs. All organic seeds, all only a dollar a pack. DollarSeed.com and by WillSpringsSoap.com. Handmade soaps with simple recognizable ingredients, making soaps using the cold kettle process while using traditional methods. WillSpringsSoap.com. Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener now has a product line from t-shirts to sweaters to cups to bumper stickers and hundreds of other items with their likeness Go to WisconsinVegetableGardener.com and click on TWVG product under the scarecrows on the right hand side. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Extra. I'm Holly Baird. Well today we're making freezer slaw. What is freezer slaw? It's basically a coleslaw that you make that you can make right now, put in your freezer, and then you can take it out and thaw it and eat it throughout the winter and the fall and the spring. So what we've done already is we have chopped up our cabbage, onion, green pepper, and carrots. And we use a combination of purple cabbage and regular white or green cabbage. And then we had a lot of carrots so we, and they were about to go bad so we tossed them in there as well. It's not really going to affect the taste. And what we did is we mixed it with some salt. And I'll put the recipe on our website, which is the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com. But we added the salt, and then we mixed it up, and we let it sit for about three hours. Now, if you're if you see a lot of water, ours doesn't have a lot of water. But if you see a lot of water in there, you can drain it before you you add the um, the liquid to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the liquid. So I'm just going to set that aside. And in here I have some water. I'm going to add to it the vinegar. And then we're gonna add some spices. I like to do a combination of ground pepper. This is a coarse ground pepper. And then a combination of some peppercorns. And then you're gonna do some mustard seed. I do a little bit extra generally because that's how I like it. Some people will add celery seeds or celery salt to it. I don't add that. And like I said, I'll make sure I put the recipe on our website for you. And then you add the sugar. And what you're going to do is just cook this down on the stove. And we're going to get that over there in just a minute. You want to stir it real well first before you start cooking it down. And it's gonna make it into basically a, a sauce or a syrup or like a brine or whatever you wanna call it for your freezer slaw. So let me go ahead, get this on the stove. So you're gonna bring it to a full roaring boil. If you don't know what a roaring boil is, it means that you can stir it without disturbing the boil. You just bring it to a boil for about a minute. So now we've made the liquid portion of this and we, as you saw, we brought it to a boil on the stove for about a minute and we've let it cool down quite a bit now. We're gonna put this in glass jars. They're just basic canning jars to freeze it. But if you don't have glass jars and you wanna do plastic or even like Ziploc bags or like a, another freezer safe container, um, go ahead. It's, but um, if you are gonna use plastic, make sure you let this liquid cool down completely. Otherwise you might melt your plastic or something. So I'm just gonna throw this in there with it. And then I'm going to stir it up and put it in the jars. And while I'm stirring this, I'm going to tell you about our featured Facebook page of the week, which is the Minnesota Farm Woman. I'm very familiar with Minnesota Farm Woman. She is a city girl who lives in, who now lives on a, on a farm homestead in northern Minnesota. And she grows an organic garden. And she also takes care of chickens. So her farm dog is a chihuahua. And she writes about her adventures every week on her website, which is theminnesotafarmwoman.com. And then you can obviously find her on Facebook by keyword searching the Minnesota Farm Woman. And we'll put her link to her website in our show notes so you can check down below and see that as well. So I'm just getting this stirred up here. And you just wanna stir it nice and easy. Don't get it all over yourself or your kitchen or whatever. So now we've got it 
stir it up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in these jars and we don't know how many it's gonna take it just all varies but what you can do to keep your jars covered is you can buy these plastic lids you can find them anywhere you're finding your canning goods and we like them for using in the freezer but if you don't want to buy them then you can just take your regular canning jar lids and you can use them now say like for example you opened up a can of jam and you ate it and you want to reuse the lid for freezing you can do that but don't reuse it for canning but if you want to reuse it for, for freezing that's a, a good reusing idea as well so let me go ahead and get this put in here and you want to leave a good amount of headspace because and even if you're putting this in plastic you want to do the same thing because things will expand as they freeze as you can see we filled up about five jars we have we do have a little bit extra but we're just gonna let that cool down it's not very hot at all but we're gonna like cool down we'll just eat it with dinner or whatever but um as you can see we filled up five jars now what you can do is you freeze this and it stays in your freezer for up to a year you just put your lid on and obviously you want to leave a good amount of headspace and you put your uh, put in your freezer and then you let it thaw if we decide we want some we'll just take it out the night before you can thaw it in the fridge or that morning you can just thaw it and then if you want like a creamy coleslaw you can drain it just take a more fine mesh strainer dump it in there shake it drain it put it back in a bowl add some little bit of mayonnaise to it so I've seen people add mustard to it and a combination of mustard and mayonnaise so you know you can kind of play around with it or you can just eat it as is it's it's good either way and and there you go it's something that you can do you don't need a canner to do it you can just go ahead and put it in a jar reusable plastic container something that you can use it's freezer safe to reuse it and it's something you can enjoy all winter long for more organic gardening visit the wisconsin vegetable gardener.com